Okay, so there are a couple of things where system administrators actually have uh, influence on the system. Most of the, the stuff which I talked about here before obviously is completely under the control of the programmer and it has to be built into the program itself. But a couple of things are up to the system administrator to get right because uh, in, in some situations we enable these kind of things by default but system administrators might turn it off and unfortunately for some of the functionality we have this is quite often the case. The first thing which is important in this respect is address-based layout randomization, ASLR, which simply is a mechanism in which the OS is assigning to the different pieces of a program which uh, make up the entire program. So a program con constitutes of the data, uh, of the program executed with itself, of all the dependencies in shared objects, and of all the data which the program is producing, plus the stack and so on. All these different components can have independent addresses. And uh, this is enabled through the address space uh, randomization, where we have at any one time, except for most programs, all the pieces get different addresses. An attacker, for uh, when it uh, when it tries to execute something like a return to libc address from a, from a buffer overflow, cannot handle with random addresses because they have to provide the pr the processor and return address which is an absolute address. And when, if the underlying program looks different every time when the program is executing, there's no constancy there. There's no constant in, uh, address anymore. So this kind of attacks will automatically fail. So address-based randomization is something which uh, has a very big impact on security because it makes the attacker's work unpredictable, so the program might still fail, but it will only crash instead of being subverted by the attacker. The uh, negative side on, and this is the reason why uh, address based randomization is sometimes disabled, is it's uh, uh, counterproductive to, to performance. So we have uh, an optimization in developed for the distribution, and we are using it for some time, where we enable faster loading of executables through something which is called pre-linking. Pre-linking simply makes it, makes it possible to load the shared libraries on which a program depends much faster. And pre-linking depends on, on re repeatable addresses, so it's directly opposed, opposed to uh, address-based randomization. And you, can, you have to choose the one or the other. So this is one reason where uh, ASLR is implicitly disabled because a, uh, uh, a system administrator is using pre-linking. So pre-linking should really not ever be used for frontline machines. The other situation when ASLR is uh, disabled is if people find that the, predict uh, the uh, repeatability, which is exactly prevented by, by ASLR, is also uh, inhibiting them. So most often this is found in, uh, for developers who are uh, who want to debug a program and want to get the same result in every run of the process and so on. They turn this off. But also the same thing can happen with production machines when a program is failing and they want to have uh, and the developers are asking them for repeatable data. So admins oftentimes turn off ASLR and therefore are putting their machines in danger. So. If SLR gets in the way of something, it should only be turned off for the short period of time when it's really necessary. So that means should never forget to turn it back on again right after that. The other part where sysadmins are really playing a big role is to install appropriate security policies. And our policies are basically is, are based on, on SE Linux, the security framework which we have enabled in RHEL and in Fedora by default. But um, 
because especially third-party applications are often inhibited by the functionality as a Linux functionality because they are not integrated in the policies and they are often, and that's much worse, they are not cl written cleanly enough to work in an SE Linux enabled environment. So admins oftentimes turn off SE Linux and that's a fatal mistake. Because SE Linux is a mechanism in which can ensure that even if program is uh, exploited. If an attacker can, despite all the other functionality which we have in place, take over the execution of a program, uh, the, this will not uh, compromise the entire system since it is completely compartmentalized. The, pro, the, the best a, uh, an attacker in these situations can hope for is to get with an exploit of a process the privilege uh, the uh, the possibilities to um, perform certain operations which are equivalent to what the program already does on its own which means that every single process has only as many rights as it absolutely minimally needs